on the last episode of Gone Home. I'm not afraid to cry. Shut the fuck up, Thunder. We're gonna be crying together. Now let's end this beautiful game. This is not a horror game. Remember me. This is not a horror game. This is a beautiful game. What the fuck? Lester. That wasn't his name, was it? Uncle. He likes pants. Ooh. Ghost Hunter, Seven Nine Secret House Investigation Call. Law. Hidden compartments found. Three of them. In the library upstairs hall in the foyer. Evidence of the supernatural is discovered. Zero. Fuck. Okay. Marked on the map. Mm. Take a look around still. Open the secret magic panel. Isn't it like the library it said? Yes, it does. Okay. So, uh. Let me know what Trains are under my roof. The number one best thing advice book for parents and teens. I remember what I'm looking for. I forgot already. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Night, <clears throat> Mom. No. No. Okay, well, there's the door, so it's over here somewhere. Do I turn the light off, and then I can see it? Is that what's up? Let's close this, it's creepy. Okay, over here. Can I see it now? Not really. Hmm, shit. Alright. It's just saying that, the secret compartment right there. Ah, stupid. Stupid. Okay. Yeah, that's the compartment. So, here's the compartment. And you go straight and it's to the left. So, yeah, it's over here. You shut the hell up, world. Is it this? Heater? No. Push this. Hmm. Hmm. Hemsy dumsy. Hoopity boopity boop. Shut the hell up. I don't care. I don't give two shits about what you're selling. Okay. Come back to that later. <coughs> Next, Dad's office, right here, right here, and there's something somehow behind it. What? Oh, combination. Shit. Dad, what the hell's your combination? How am I supposed to know Dad's combination? Dad, write it down, because he's forgetful. No. Okay, I guess I. Oh, what's that? Nothing, no. It's just this little righty, righty right stuff. Oh, three ring mark. Open. Fuck. Meh. My friend's online. I'm busy. What is this? Oh. Oh, no! Why can't. Uh, dear Terrence, I gotta scratch my eye. <clears throat> oh, it's not. It's 72. A rant on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have read more than a little time had. More than a time to consider my post and my family. And my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. <coughs> you are always welcome on Arbor Hills. I will uh, host and something if you feel you can accept this invitation. Yours sincerely, that guy. All right. Is this crumbled pages? Open his eyes and saw them to stars. God damn it, now this is your damn one thing though. No, wait a minute. 1963, maybe that's it. Let's try that. 1963. Back. Nothing in there. Sorry, Dad, you don't throw your stuff. Nothing in there. <clears throat> Secrety, secrety. Uh, 
zero, zero, nine, four. Let's try that. Zero, zero, nine, four. Damn it! You never know. Some of the clues are hidden in this stuff. <clears throat> Wait, this is to me. No, it's Terrence. Yeah, that's my daddy. Daddy. All right, I don't know. Next. Actually, no, not next. Ooh, event. We're gonna go uh, open Sam's magic attic. That's a goal. How do I get there? I don't remember. Isn't it over here? Hello? I don't know what this room is. Guess I'll find out in a minute. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Okay, Sam. Love you, babe. Read note. Hey, hi, Lonnie. Somebody's about to come a to you. Uh... So, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive. You're home just to, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after six period, Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt to get ready. Kamehameha. That's you right there. I'm playing me. She's probably a dookie. Ooh! So you know what they say <clears throat> about the best light plans of mice and men? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. Oh, Street Fighter, I do At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Yay! Lani. <clears throat> God damn it, son of a bitch. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell my own dad. The attic. What? What do you mean, the attic? Should I go visit the attic and not be able to sprint? God damn it. Oh my god. I like that. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna find out what you're hiding from dad and mom. I'm gonna tell dad. Oh, Dad's gonna know what you've done. He's gonna be like, what the hell, Lonnie slash Sam? Because I don't know which one you are. But Dad, you goof. You should know by now. <clears throat> We're the same. I keep having to clear my throat. Apologies. Okay, yeah, that's that game I threw down because I don't care about that. Let's go with this. Alright, check the attic, me. You got it, friend. Where the hell is it? Is it over here? Nope, wait, no. It was over here. Yeah. Yep, because there's her room. So she didn't need it anymore. Who's that? Let's do this. Fuck! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to find stuff. Like keys. I have to find keys! No! Damn it. Keys? Have I been here? Oh, I have that thing. Pillow. Nope, no candy there. Oh, I want to find all the damn pillows. All the pillows. Keys, I mean, all the keys. Groove, exclusive aids in Africa. Okay. Oh, don't you think you can hide the keys from me? Oh, I want to find all of them. All of them. The keys are coming to me now. What is this? Color. Mitten. Ah! 1888. I wonder if that's a password to something. I don't know. Grab board game. Got your number. Are you going to do, Are you going to dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? Three to five days. All right. We played some weird shit. Oh, that's the King's Labyrinth. That's right. This is an interesting game. <gasps> Journey of Crystal. Never played that one. Super Spitfire. Never played that one either. Actually. Shit. Where is the Nintendo? Did she take the damn Nintendo? Oh, you can't cheat with your Chun-Li moves. Chun-Li was my favorite, by the way. You cheated. You knew her moves. Adventurous, the cat returns. Okay. I like this girl. She's a gamer girl. She's for me. Yes. Bratmobile Costco. I think I saw that one. Shit. I gotta find the damn thing. Take this. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. You think that'll work for me? Any over there? Nope. Any over here? Nope. Someone pick your sock up. Mm -hmm. 
เรียบเปียกนะฮะฟักโอเคอาชีพการสูงนักการฟังเด็กเก๋ so much has changed even just since you've been away we moved into this house apparently and then a new school and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier it doesn't seem real I think but I'm not gonna let it phase me I used to tell you everything and if I can't do it in person because you're off gallivanting around who knows where I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Oh, this game. Shut up! I don't care about your noises anymore. Jen and Terry. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hey, Sam and Katie. Yeah, that's me. That's Katie. Okay. Ah, I still have to find a key. God damn it. What is it? Anything with a key? Oh! Oh! Hello! Shit. You're in the armed forces. That's right, they said that, didn't they? Oh, secrets. Possible keyage. Possible keyage? Fuck. I need to find the key. Damn it. I don't need to read the obituary. No one needs to be depressed. Oh, what is this? What the hell is this? Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you got this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? Oh, I, I, um, <clears throat> I, I just, I just thought, uh, you know, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I, I thought I'd ask some. Something, if you don't mind, um, do do you do you mind? No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? <clears throat> wow, uh, was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? <laughs> oh, Tommy, I can see why you don't have friends, you dickhead. Okay. Anyways, Tommy, I don't know grudge his friend. Don't worry. TV listings, the X Files. Ah, oh, friend. Good taste. I watched that growing up. Nope. Somebody's gonna have a goddamn key. Who put the coaster in there? Probably me. <gasps> Another one. Girl Scout. We don't need it. I'm gonna find this damn key, damn it. Damn it. Key? Where are ye? Does this room have any importance? Oh yeah, I looked up the book, I think, because she was talking. That's right. Oh, over here. Over here. Over here. Grab button. Her. Brat mobile. Good to hear. Damn it. Oh, I'll find this damn key. I know what you guys are all saying. I'm not going to find the key. You suck. But you know what? Stop it. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Ah, I didn't have a cent. I'll find this damn key. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to skip ahead a little bit because um, I, I'm me and I don't know where the fuck to find keys and things of that nature. So to spare you all roughly five minutes of me searching this house for the damn keys and passcodes and all that stuff, we're just going to skip right ahead to it right now. Zero, four, five, one. Is zero four five one something? Sh shit. You know what? Let's try it. Uh, what can I? Let's try this one. Zero four five one. Zero four five one. Yes! Ah! Uh, read the goddamn document. Please find and close your original document and type copy for your record. This copy is filled out offices and you know that stuff. It's a will and testament. I, this guy. Okay, I'm not reading all this. Oh my god, definitely not reading that. What was the point of that? God damn it! 
Ah, this. This is the bane of my existence. Trying to find all the passwords and keys and shit is impossible for me. It is impossible. The X-Files. I know about the X-Files. There's my pizza. I want to order pizza now. That's where I found it. Here's, here's this. Stranger under my roof. Damn it. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's no seat. God damn it! Jeez. The Misfits, Saturday, October 29th, plus special guest Maidenhead, Stygia! Oh, ooh! At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Oh, oh, this game. It's so beautiful. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. There you go. Now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now there's another one, like right here-ish. Oh, I see it, I think. Yep, fuck yeah. Getting shit done this episode. Second combo scrap. Oh. 50, one. Half Sam's locker combo ad. Private, do not read. That means we're reading. Allegra and ah, oh, shit. Do I really have to read all this? How many is there? Eh, should I? It's not that much. Ah, uh, I don't know if I should. Damn it. Okay, fine. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness ju- such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry! Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. <laughs> Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the <laughs> She saw the queen. She saw the queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, "No!" and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand. But it was too late. You didn't spell that correctly. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water put down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, we looked like we looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, the hands, and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate. He, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, She's one of us now! She's ours! Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared in the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her, bitch. That's the best book ever! Oh my god. Okay, and I have... Okay, so 50. And 1. Uh-huh. 51. I can probably just figure it out. My it's a four, the four combo lock dock. So I'm pretty sure I can probably find it myself. All right, what's the other one? 
the other hidden one. How do I look at him? Eh, whatever. All right, I'm upstairs on the second floor. Thank you. So it's over there. But that room's all blacky black. How do I get to it? I'll find out, damn it. Oh, I'll find out. Oh, I'll find out. Ah! Yes! Don't need that. Zero. Ha! Ah! Completed. Oh, fuck this Ouija board. Hello? Hello? Who are you? Oscar, what do you want? To come back. Alright. I don't think it was Oscar. I think they're playing with you, friend. Zero five zero one. All right, getting shit done. Zero five zero one. Yes. Well, hello. Oh, uh, Lenny. Oh, hello. You're so cute. Oh, shut sh the fuck up. Lonnie came over today. Lonnie, I mean, sorry. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Oh. <laughs> oh. You were hiding something from me, by the way, but oh. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote you the first period and left in your locker in the waist jacket. It's what all the cool kids are doing. Liv decided. Is that what that says? I've decided. I don't know. Run me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't do this on a beeper. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful, by the way. The kid to cats on a motorcycle. Your drawings of cats were so good that I had the background to make it even better. You did? Oh, you did. Um, maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. I don't know what that is. Right now, I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his, uh, secret shame is he watches something. What's that say? Religiously? I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched whatever, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Oh, okay. Oh, this game's beautiful, by the way. Based key. Oh shit. Never mind. I don't want that. Gosh damn. Oh. Gosh damn. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Oh <gasps> no. Bad. Cigarettes are bad for you, kids, okay? Shut this damn thing. We're going to the basement to die. This game's cool. Oh, I love that. This game's gorgeous. Where am I at? <laughs> Ah, oh, I love this game. It's just so beautiful. It's a love story, and it's gorgeous. I'm all for this love story. Why am I trying to jump towards that? I don't know. There's the creepy-ass basement. Oh, God, what am I doing? Eh. What? Ah, oh, basement's over there. Vroom. My bad. I'm just prolonging the inevitable, apparently, of going into the creepy basement. Why wow, there's a thunderstorm outside. Yay! <sighs> but oh well, glad, we got, glad we're back on track. Good, you guys don't need to set the fire alarm. We change the batteries or anything. I had to do that earlier. <sighs> okay, just a basement. Just a basement. Please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. From the attic. Okay, attic. Ah, oh, pitch black darkness, sweet. Oh, good, light. That helps. Man. Ah, oh, fuck this room entirely. This is the attic, by the way. 
I mean the basement. I was in that bad. I guys look around first. Leave it binder. Potato chips. Um, nutritional facts. There are none. Here's some soda. Sprite. Oh, ginger ale. Okay. Ring. Oh. Wait a minute. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your board for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavored potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long. But it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie. A fancy man. Mm, yes, right. Dear Miss DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host to the festivities of your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. Hmm, yes. I especially appreciate the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year, shall Fuck that thunder. Shall we? Indeed, Madam Samantha Greenbar, Esquire. Hmm, yes. Alrighty. Oh, examine drawing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Oh, shut the fuck it's up. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? Sure. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh. Oh, this game's beautiful. There's a creepy furnace over there. Back. Okay. Not going to creepy furnace. Ah <laughs> oh, man, all my old sex assign ed assignments. <laughs> but there are two stories. Events are off. Wait a minute. Oh. Um. Okay. Check blast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grab plaque. K is for kind. A is for amazing. I is for intelligence. T is for talented. L is for lighthearted. I is for important. N is for nice. That's you, Caitlin. Ah, oh, put that back. That's beautiful. This game's beautiful. It's just fucking beautiful. Tugs on the heartstrings. I should probably not get close to the furnace or I'll die. Ah, yes. Water cooler. I mean the heating and cooling watery thing. My brain. <laughs> I know this game's probably not scary, but I'm a bitch. Oh, college. Mm -hmm. Dear Samantha, congratulations! I am pleased to inform you for your mission to creative. God, this is a fucking reading episode. We believe you have much to contribute to the read college community. I wonder if she actually went to college. Oh, shut the fuck up! So stupid sometimes. Ah, so am I. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program oh, thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Aww. 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 The title of this episode is probably going to be Aww. <laughs> One of Dad's books. Was something stuck to it? Is it a penis? Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. I don't care. Alrighty. What the? Storage. Oh, okay. I want to see what's in here. Oh, this is storage. Okay. I can't see that. Mason's Pharmacy. Uh, something. I don't care. Jan January something. I don't know. I didn't couldn't read it. Maybe you guys stop writing in cursive. Holy fucking uh, newspapers. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Uh. Creepy. 
They have a newspaper or something. Mr. Farmer, she changed his hands. There's no other people using it. Okay. Before we go in there, let's check this room over here. This door. What is this? Oh, it's all nice. Why are there so many creepy fucking places? What the hell? Ow. There we go. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout set this. Role model authority, main squeeze, telling story, instruction, first mate, self Girl Scout denial. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? Hmm. And she was like, probably. Maybe. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Oh, this game is gorgeous. I can sing! Add it to backpack. Oh my god, I love this game. This game's fantastic. And you guys thought I was all about Overwatch and multiplayer shit. Hell no, I can definitely enjoy me a good fucking game like this. Fuck. Ah, now I gotta find stuff again. Can't see, is this door? Oh, oh my god, it's fucking dark in here. Oh, it doesn't work. Shit! Oh, fuck that. Not going there, ever. No, you close, goddammit. Close. There we go. Fuck that room. <laughs> Alright, let's try... Wait, is that... What the hell is this? Oh, it's a radio. Alright, let's try, um... The creepy area over here. No. Find this. Find the bookshelf. Alright. Oh, upstairs. Hello? It's very eerily quiet right now, and I'm not happy. Hello? And goddamn right up! This game probably isn't scary, is it? <laughs> Read letter. Senior High School. Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. Your initiative was all well written, and, but it does not change my mind on the matter. <laughs> Well, I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours. The fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. She used the word penis. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. Ah, oh, she... Ah, oh, that's sweet of her. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there have been no convincing evidence to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there's no one to punish. I wish just let this issue drop, as it will only bring more and more attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. God damn bitch. Ooh! I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Okay. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Yeah, people, you know, people just do some some goofy things sometimes, especially for the ones they love. I understand that entirely. <laughs> Heck up. <gasps> Women outlaws. This will show you who runs things around this joint. She's Jeffrey and Wild Mustang. No female's going to tell me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, I love this game. <laughs> Let's go here. Is this a door I can't see? Oh, it's a panel. Oh, secret, secret, sneaky panel. Where the hell am I? Oh, the secret door that was locked because it's an asshole. I can't see. I'm going to turn the light on. Ah, light. Yes. You can close that. 
This light doesn't... Oh, no, it still helps. All right, let's try this one. Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. American dollar, of course. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. P.S. Treasure it always. You got it. Oh, the creepy-ass doll I saw? I mean, uh, skull? Oh, okay. Glad you like that weird shit. Kitchen. Is this going to be something about you guys making dinner for each other? That's going to be adorable. No, no, postcard does that. <gasps> oh, my God. Stop going to places I want to go, God damn it! This is horseshit. What's this? Sam and Zine. Zine. Oh, okay. And a folder. Oh, examine slip. <clears throat> Display referral. Oh, God, I know what that is. <laughs> Shamanta, distributing inappropriate materials in school grounds. Smart call students' parents. They probably never got it. Hey! Oh, no! I oh, had shh, shh interesting talk with mom and dad tonight when you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like she -Ra. mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the zine. locker oh. and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Damn parents. Uh, love is love. You don't have to be in your fucking 20s or so to know love. When you meet somebody and you have feelings for them. And they have feelings back. And you just seem to always click. Love. Love, 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 love. If someone writes profanity on your locker and then he or she does the same to theirs to just to make it look like you two are doing that stuff because you're cool, fucking love. So, Mom, Dad, shut the fuck up. Ooh. The Accidental Warrior. Don't give up in on this, honey, by Terrence something or other. Dad, don't give up on that. Mom said not to. I can't see shit. Oh, that, of course. The light switch. That will help me see shit. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's make a sandwich. What do I do? Weird. Alright. Let's see what's going on around here. Mm hmm. Oh! <gasps> Read story. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an adventure. Oh, it's a little girl. girl. But they went to the that thing part of the woods and it got dark. Danny said, are you scarred? Uh, so Samantha said, no. Are you? They went, they, they, they something and went, were more, were into the wood bed part then they went to, went to a part that was never there before and there, there was a ship, a pirate, a pirate ship on an ocean. Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Daniel said, I, I captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. There they are. <laughs> Daniel finally came over to get his game. Oh, it was Daniel. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Oh, 
Ah, oh. it's okay. We forgive you. Everyone forgives you. Sometimes you just have time for friends. You try to have the time, but you just can't make the time. You're busy, busy falling in love, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's no. Sam schedule working at Crown Burger on whatever, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Open fridge. This is mine. <clears throat> what else do we need here? Um, what the hell is this? Oh, it's sandwich. Oh, do you have ham? Shit. Hold on. I want to make a sandwich here. Oh, apples. Hell yeah. That can be a snack. Uh, what else do we have? No ham! I'm making a cheese sandwich. All right, fine. Cheese sandwich it is. Uh, what do I have here? I had soda. I needed something to put on the sandwich. Uh, relish? Why not? Yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> All right, anything else I can hear? Oh, some ice cream for a snack. Oh, cookie caramel. Hell yeah. And yeah. Okay, that's good. Let's see. No, oh, don't need any. Oh, yeah, I need a plate. go. I need a cup, too, for my soda. No, I want the red one, because it's different. There we go. All right. I don't know where the bread is, but that's okay. Someone cleaned out. We got to go grocery shopping and buy some appliances as well. Oh, maybe the bread's in here bag of potato chips. Delicious. Maybe I'll just settle for that instead. Alright. Anything on here I should know about? I guess not. What's this? Green beans? Corn. Oh, sweet. I love corn. Alright. Fine. I don't need your shit. Turn on lights. Oh. 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 My dinghy. Oh. Can I do position? <clears throat> Let's see from what's happening. I write to congratulate your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry thingy. Yay! Let's call them. All right. Ooh. Anniversary trip. Oh, you guys are having an anniversary trip! Oh. I'm so excited. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Can't see shit again. Is that paper? No, it's trash. Eh. The shed is connected to the kitchen? Oh, it's the garage. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. <gasps> Hiccup. Oh, hat. Put it on. Put it on your head. Now. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions no contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Yeah, that's that's the military for you, honey. They just send you off. If people could learn to stop fucking fighting, try to solve shit with, you know, anything that's not involved with violence, then the world probably be a better place. Let's read this. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we have the we have the son of the whole. What the hell does that mean? Lens till you leave. What? <laughs> oh, we have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually, imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. Now <laughs> show them. Nani, you are gross. Never change. <laughs> Read this? I don't know. Ah, I love this game. It has so much charm. 
I still haven't found the fucking passwords to those things, by the way. That that safe that we found and stuff. Oh, this looks suspicious as hell. No? Oh, okay. What's... Have I been here? Oh. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Aww. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Ah, uh, no! Don't be. Whoa. Well, don't do this to me, game. <clears throat> it's a beautiful love story. Don't make it all end in tatters, in taters, tater salad. Speaking of tater salad, I'm kidding. That's rice. Ah, oh, now I want some. Ah, delicious. This game better have a happy ending. I'm gonna be fucking crying. <laughs> Nothing in here, abuse. Ah, oh. good. Thank God the door wasn't locked. Anything in here? I will find all the beautiful answers. Open the washer. Nothing in there. Somebody forgot socks. Fluffy. Oh, softy. Softly. Put that in there. Dad, ooh, do you guys have a greenhouse? What the? How rich are you? You have a fucking greenhouse. What's this? Book. Axel of Pariah. Don't care about that, Dad. Sorry. Axel of Savior. Don't care about that one either, Dad. Sorry. Read that. Dear Kyle, it's gonna tell. Okay, don't care. Cover copy. Don't care either. Sorry, Dad. You guys can read that, by the way. Examine map. Final preparations are complete. Where will do it? That sounds creepy. Under stairs. Secret door in the foyer. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized were all in the past and there wouldn't be any more I didn't know what I was going to do and I cried and she held me oh. she said she knew it was hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her oh. that's when she cried too oh. I was so exhausted I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Ah, No! Damn this game! Uh, this is where we hung out for the last time. Oh god, no! <clears throat> Oscar. Oscar. Granddad. Uncle. That's what it was. Attic. Oh, thank God. I have the fucking attic gate. Oh, the attic. Shut up. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Let's go to the attic. Ah. 
Đó. Always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Stay strong, kick ass. Uh, said yes, what? Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Ah. I said yes. Damn right you did. Oh, this game is awesome. Ah. Oh, what the hell is this? Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Bye, Katie. So I was, I was Katie. And through my sister's stuff. She went home, or she went to live with her loved one. Well, to travel and whatever, with her loved one. To travel, no, it's supposed to be travel, I said. Oh my god, this game is amazing. Oh my god, no, 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 shut the hell up! Oh, thank god. That music. <laughs> okay, oh my god, this game is amazingly beautiful. It tugged on my heartstrings, made me cry. It didn't make me cry, but it was beautiful. Oh my god. This game is currently free if you're a PlayStation Plus member on PS4. I don't know about everything else. Give this a try. Oh my god, it was beautiful. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful uh, look into the eyes of Kate. Of Katie. No, of uh, Sam and the other girl. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Um, I think it started with an L. I don't remember names, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the adventures. I just said this. I would do this all the fucking time. I should write a script. I... Thank you so much for watching, and I, I want, I hope you guys check out this video, and I will see you again tomorrow for, I guess Overwatch and all that normal stuff, unless I find something else like this, which case there will be this. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye.